Last week, an LA Times cartoonist and columnist wrote about White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders. David Horsey was trying to describe in words rather than pictures what makes Sanders stand out from the rest of the Trump team, in his view. And this is what he wrote that set the internet on fire. Quote, Sanders looks more like a slightly chunky soccer mom who organizes snacks for the kids' games rather than the fake eyelashes and formal dresses she puts on for news briefings. Sanders seems as if she'd be more comfortable in sweats and running shoes. Reaction was swift. Horsey was accused of body shaming and misogyny from both sides of the aisle. And now in his first television inter interview since the controversy erupted, David Horsey joins me from Los Angeles. David, thank you for being here. I give you credit because you didn't have to do this. I'm happy to be here. Well, uh, I, uh, yeah, go ahead. it's something I'm, I don't mind talking about. And uh, So I'm let me just start, start with what's on you. the mind of, of so many of the people who read this. It's not just women, men and women. What could you have been thinking? What, what could you have been thinking? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. And it's a question I've been asking myself the uh, last few days. And so the, the, the real question I've asked is, you know, as a guy who's been trying to be a champion and an ally of women for my whole career and who thinks, uh, you know, the, the liberation and the equality of women is the best thing to change the world and make it a better place, how could I do this? And um, there's sort of the little, literal way I did it, and there's also the, 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 the uh, understanding that even, even uh, a guy who's trying to do the right thing most of the time, uh, I grew up in the same sexist world everybody else did, and stuff just comes out. You know, this is a, a lifelong process where you just try to get better every day, and, uh, and you know, sometimes your brain goes crazy, or, mm -hmm. or you, you get into uh, a, a difficult spot that you didn't expect to get into because uh, you slipped into a kind of a cliche way of thinking. I want to ask you, because it wasn't just Sarah yeah. Huckabee Sanders who found, themselves, found herself on the wrong end of your pen. It was also Fox News anchors. And, you know, I was at Fox News for 13 years, and I think I'm uniquely qualified to speak to the women there and what they're like. And you refer to them as blonde Barbie dolls in short, tight skirts. Mm -hmm. And I have to tell you, I, I asked myself when I saw that, who does he mean? Does he mean Jamie Colby, who graduated high school at age 16 and practiced law for 10 years before becoming a journalist and winning a Murrow Award? Does he mean Leah Gabriel, who fought as a Navy fighter pilot for our country in Afghanistan before becoming a Fox News personality. Melissa Francis, who graduated with an economics degree from Harvard. Catherine Herridge, who has a Stanford and Harvard degree and gave part of her liver to her sick infant child. To me, these are not blonde Barbie dolls in short, tight skirts. And I think I speak for a lot of them when I say that part was equally offensive. Oh, all right. Well, this is why <laughs> this is the problem of, <laughs> well, OK, this is how um, I basically feel about it. That's uh, you? I, it's a, a, yeah, oh, yeah, I was just sitting here drawing and uh, <clears throat> decided, you know, this is totally a self-inflicted wound. Okay. Uh, you know, I was trying to but make let me, an but analogy. What I'm trying to get is, do you, do yeah. you get it now? Do you get how those kinds of oh, words are diminishing? Well, yeah. And beneath you, right. and I know you've had backlash even from your own family. So to the, to the others out there who think there's nothing wrong with what you yeah. said, what is your message? OK. Well, my message is when you goof up like this, um, you got to face up to it. I mean, I've had people say, um, you know, it wasn't that big a deal. Why are you apologizing? And I think, you know, basically real men apologize. You, you say, OK, I. I did something ridiculously wrong and offensive. And you say, OK, how can I make this better? I, I think it's, it's more than apologizing. It's also realizing what you're apologizing for. Mm -hmm. And in this case, even though some people have said, well, you know, it, you slipped into something and it's not that bad. And, and what's important, I think, for men like me and, well, all men uh, to understand is, even stuff that maybe some people think as 
is kind of a minor offense. Mm -hmm. uh, if, if you let the little stuff get by or the, the medium stuff, it just, it, uh, it, it opens the way for the really bad stuff. And, and men, rather than uh, saying, well, you know, I was just being funny or, you know, I was trying to do this or that, should say, no, you know, I, I call myself on it and then make sure in the future you call other men on it yep. and other people who And you, just who for the record, just for women. the record, you are, yeah. are you apologizing? Absolutely. I did that as quickly as I, I could. As I, had, it, I hadn't heard it with uh, respect to the yeah. Fox News personality. I had not I'm yet. sorry? I had not heard yeah. an apology to the Fox News women. Yeah. Well, I apologize to them as well. I, I mean, it's just there's a there's better way to have a political discussion. And, and, well, I thought that know, was the, interesting because I know you said that yeah. it's caused you to reevaluate what you're doing and, and contributing to the vicious political cycle. And yeah. I understand that. I fully, completely understand that. And I thought that was an honest admission of yours. So I applaud yeah. you for coming on and having, I know it's not easy, especially with me on this yeah. issue, but that, that was just brave well, of you. And I appreciate yeah, you being I, here, David. I, I'm happy to be here. And I know, um, you know, I've gotten a, a lot of negative stuff and a lot of it very valid. I've got an, also a lot of really nasty, vicious stuff yeah. that, uh, but you know what, that, we, you know, we're a country that, yeah. we, you know, we stand up when things are wrong, but we, I think we also yeah. believe in forgiveness. So thank you. All the best well, to you. Well, thank you. I hope we all start forgiving each other and, and uh, you know, uh, reducing the toxic environment there with, that we're working in, especially in politics. That's right. And we need to do better. All the best to you. Well, thank you. Yeah. I just tell our viewers that we did reach out to Sarah Huckabee Sanders. Um, she did not have a comment. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.